Hey everybody, welcome back to the Original Barber YouTube channel. Gonna do a little bit of buggy maintenance today. Uh, got some free time, Saturday, you know. Wasn't expecting the snow, but it is gonna be, you know, mid to high 30s today, I think. So, yeah, puppy's not following me. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this thing up to the, the garage. Finally do these spark plugs in it, do an oil change, just some easy stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna have my, should have my two year old with me. So, hey, why not teach him how to change oil too? Everybody learns around that age. So, you get the buggy up front, and then he and I are gonna run to the parts store, go hit up O'Reilly's, grab some stuff, grab some supplies, and get started. All right, so the last time we met, this thing was kind of running on three. We'll see if it's any happier. We're doing plugs anyway, but. Okay. That doesn't sound like much more than three to me. We're all very excited for car work. All right, buddy? Would you get that binky out of your mouth, you silly goose? Here, give me that. Give me this. No, 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 mama. Oh, you want me to sit in there? Well, I'll sit in there later after we... We gotta fix the car first, okay? You gonna watch me fix it? Yeah, okay. I don't know if you want you to fix it. I'm gonna fix it anyway. So, went and got a few things. Usual stuff, you know, oil, zinc, additive, plugs, filter. We'll talk about that later. Uh, extra turn signal switch because that keeps breaking. What are you doing, you goofball? You're crazy. All right, so we're going to get started on this. I'll bring you along. Probably the GoPro will be a little easier. All right, that wasn't working. Little guy was too impatient. So I got him in my office watching my YouTube videos. Apparently he thinks I'm a celebrity or something. So anyway, don't know why, where he got that idea. But we're gonna get started on this now, including stuffed animals. Um, we're gonna start with this remote oil filter, which I am very thankful is on this thing. Right here. It gets you kind of attached ish. It'll probably be right directly in my way. Let's see if we're gonna get lucky. Sneaky secret, I already kind of loosened this because I had to turn it to see which part number it was. And I do have a catch pan sort of under this. I don't know how much oil, if any, is gonna leak out of here the way it's mounted. I feel like not much. Look at all that sand. Okay, there's a little bit of oil coming out. Yikes, 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 yikes. Here it comes. Big bucks, no whammies. Please, get off there. Disconnect yourself. There it is. All right, that's not terrible. Now, can we somehow get you? Yeah, that's pretty much going where I want it to go. I'll, I'll take that and be moderately happy. That wasn't a complete mess. Yep, definitely smell some gas in that. I'm sure it running on three cylinders for a little bit didn't help. All right, I'm gonna throw another little catch vessel in here just to pick up that little bit leaking while I pull the drain plug. I don't want to sit here all day waiting on this thing. All right, let's move under here. There we go. So let's find a spot you can kind of see what are happening under here. That looks like you might be able to sort of see some things. All right, phone stopped ringing. Children are stopped squawking. We can finally do this. I should probably pull this drain in the center though, or we're gonna have a big old mess. Oh yeah, I should have done this sooner. That's okay. And let me find my rag that I have somehow misplaced again. Okay, finally show time. Show time. Show time, buggy time. Let's get some light time so you can see what's going on time. Get off me wires. I had some sweet magnet battery lights, but they all, you know, they're from Harbor Freight, so of course they don't work anymore. I know that's a shocker to everybody. Jeez. Oof, I about fell down. All right. Let's get that sweet, sweet, not so sweet oil out of this thing. There you go, feller. 
This will make you feel better. Step one of feeling better. Let's see. How's it look? Eh. Doesn't look. Eh. Doesn't look it doesn't look terrible. I'll try it again. Let's take one more little little peek of this. Well, it's not a bass boat, so that's good. Definitely glad we're getting this changed on. It's uh it's about time. It only had those two adventures to Silver Lake last year, but that was its first uh adventure being a part sort of of the fleet here and uh it's probably good to get that oil change that was put into it back out of it and start uh doing more regular changes i need to get in here the pressure washer degoo some of this thing got all that sand and oil it's everywhere that's a roar all right we're getting about there about there-ish I think for the sake of putting this thing back together and not having a bunch of sand inside everything, we're going to do a little brake clean surgery just to make sure we're not adding any sand into things. Okay, clean off the drain plug too. I need to find a place to hook this thing. Yeah, it sort of works. Okay, just clean it up a little bit. Yes. I sure don't have any hitchhikers. That oil's still coming out. I think I'm gonna give it another minute. Might as well get our money's worth out of this. I think it's about time. We're gonna call it. I only have so much patience and it's, it's mostly done, right? Yeah, I feel like we're about there. We probably won't let it go too long on this change anyway. I'll probably do another one after the first trip or so just to make sure everything is Happy, keep a run as long as we can until it blows up and we can put something real fun in it. But no reason to do it intentionally, at least not yet. Nice Wix filter. Oh yeah, big boy. Let's get this out of the way. Okie doke, get you, come on. Find the threads, find them, there we go. Spin you on. There we go. Under here a little bit, just do a nice little hand tightening. That feels pretty good. All right, time to refill. Can't forget the most important step, actually put oil in it. Don't forget that one. It's highly recommended when you're doing an oil change to actually replace the oil you take out. All right, are you gonna happily live there? You shouldn't get one of those angled ones of these. This is kind of annoying. So there's a lot of agreement as well as disagreement in the Volkswagen community on what oil to run. So, Seems a lot of people do default to the little bit heavier weights, keep these things happy. I do have some Lucas Zinc additive to throw in as well. And uh, following in the footsteps of the one and only Derek at Vice Grip Garage, we're going to go with the uh, Rotella T4. All those, you know, dinosaurs and minerals he keeps talking about, figure it can't hurt. Throw in some of this zinc additive. I'm gonna try to not throw this whole thing in as much as my overkill personality wants me to. Yeah, we're gonna put in, I don't know, about half. See if I can stretch this out to a two oil change kind of a product. Instead of, this stuff's like 25 bucks. It ain't cheap. But I gotta keep all those cam lobes happy. That's, I'll give it a little squirt. That's half-ish. I think. It's kind of hard to tell because you can't see through the container, of course. Why did they make it easy on you? No, that's not half. We got we got more to go. We'll keep her moving. There we go. Finish it off with a bit more. Capacity is only, I don't know what, three quarts or less in theory, but we've got the big filter, 
We've got the remote lines. So I think my buddy said this was about five-ish total. So we're just gonna get started. Check the dipstick and see how we're doing. Last time we got it filled a little too full, so I'd prefer to not go too far in the wrong direction. A lot easier to keep adding than to... Yeah, so it's... Maybe not quite a quart low in the dipstick right now, but there's nothing in the filter. So... And actually, you know what we're going to do? I think we're going to pull that filter back off and throw some in it. Just so it's not starting dry up there. It's elevated, so should be easy enough to do. No reason not to. Yeah, if you can see, we're right in the middle. What I'll probably do, I still gotta change these spark plugs before we go any further, but um, probably change spark plugs, crank it over a few times without the ignition on, and uh, see how it looks. This is the culprit of our current misfiring issue or of our current uh, running on three quarters of the engine issue I can tell because when this thing's running I can put my hand right on this uh, exhaust pipe and it's cool so I already did pull this out once to check it out but uh, yeah just nasty.com so I'll be smart and we'll just do these one at a time. Get the new ones all ready. Get you all nice and into your new home. Find the threads or find something close to them. Do. Who does number two work for? I mean, who knows what the life of this motor was prior to uh, my or my friend's, gee, my or my friend's ownership of it. Could have been well cared for. Could have been absolutely thrashed for 30 years. I wanna say this motor is from a, I don't remember. It's a late 70s Beetle maybe. All right, other side. Going to four because I just didn't think about it, but I'm sure it'll bother someone going one, two, four, three. You can let me know how much I've upset you with this. The final number three, the final cylinder in all four cylinder engines is number three. It's what we all know, isn't it? It's what we're all taught. One, two, four, three. These spark plug wires are already showing some cracks on the boots. I thought these were new. I think they are. Who knows? Maybe we've got to do a set of wires on this too. We shall see. We are all assembled. So, plugs are in, oil's in, plugs in, filters in. I think that's it. So. Gonna turn over a little bit, make sure that oil level's right, and then uh, once we're confident oil's good, we're gonna turn the ignition on and see if we're back to four cylinders. Yep, see, we're back to being a little bit low. I don't know if this dipstick operates in, you know, the full line to line as a quart or not. So if it is, if it does, we're a half quart low, which I think is reasonable. I could see a half quart of oil being in those feed and return lines. I've decided to go ahead and give it the full zinc treatment. I mean, why not? Might as well keep it happy, especially since we don't know the motor all that well yet. I mean, I guess why skimp on something that might save the engine, right? I'm gonna be out kind of thrash on this thing, so it's better to give it every fighting chance it has, I suppose. Probably be nice if I brought you over here so you could see what I was doing, but you know, you get the idea. I'm squeezing a bottle into an oil feed neck. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. This isn't rocket science. 
I think it's time to uh, do a fire up. We'll see how we did. See if we're back to back to all cylinders. Passenger side is cylindering. So we're gonna see if I just have an oops in here. Do I not have a bad connection somewhere? I don't know. I mean, that's just goofy as all get out if you ask me. All right, we're gonna just in case I did a stupid. I hope I was smart enough that I did have these both disconnected at once in the barn there's a chance i did a, uh, a non you know a non good and if i flip these that would completely explain what's going on you know in there i feel like i was pretty careful but it's happened before It would appear I did the dumb thing. That's much happier. That's not why it was missing before though. I promise you that. This sounds way better. been high but how does this thing have 80 pounds of oil pressure I, I don't understand I mean we're going from metric to freedom units or something's going on here that doesn't make much sense to me I'll take it if it's if it's real Good now. Still gonna rebuild this carburetor, but that was a good step in the right direction. Well, now I find myself all dressed up with nowhere to go. So before we put her away for the carburetor tear down rebuild project, gotta go around the block. I mean, it's it's mid 30s, and I have a hat and there's gloves in my pocket, so I it's running right. I have no excuse to not at least go around the neighborhood. So I'll take you along with the. Uh, you know, GoPro, take a look, see what's going on out in the neighborhood today. Well, I don't know about you, but I think this thing sounds way better now. I mean, you'll have that going from 75 to 100% of the engine functioning. Much of these things clunk around. That was like a whole new level of clunking for a Series 1 Volkswagen. Volkswagen. All right, we're we're in. We got lights. We got brake lights. We have a little bit of temperature left. Let's do this. Fix the old mirror a little bit. Kid keeps messing with it. Kid just mess with everything. But I love him. Love the little guy.
That's got to be car issue. Wow, there's a lot more torque than there used to be. <laughs> Man, it's amazing what a tune-up will do. We'll just run their neighborhood, get some heat in it. Probably should have got some heat in me. Here I am again in a sweatshirt in 35 degree weather. I just, I'm never gonna learn. It's like my body, my brain resists learning. See, it gets, oh, it bogs down. You gotta tune this carb up. It's when it gets down like under 1500 in second gear, it's not heavy. Oil pressures, I don't know, 80 again. We're doing good. This oil pressure is fascinating me. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm not mad about it. Those ATs whining. Brakes are feeling better. After a little bit of <laughs> fluid. I know. Also, strangest thing. Brake fluid makes brakes work. Listen to this thing. It's just happy. It just sounds like 1975 in here. It's awesome. In here, out here, wherever I am. engine temper pretty close much mo better she was hurting there for a minute I don't know just I don't know if it's a wintertime beating or you know it was a little full on oil before whatever happened that plug was fouled out and it was not happy and then I did the little oops and you know didn't have the right wires hooked up but it was already having an issue before that so uh, sounding great running great heating up great Next step is going to be a car rebuild. Might jump on that today. Might save that for another day. We'll see. And then uh, yeah, the rest of the list, let's go take a look. So, where's my mighty dry erase marker? So we have oil change. We have, do I even have spark plugs on here? I don't. Well, spark plugs. Hi -ya! All right, there we go. Love it. And I have the I have the black paint. We're gonna be getting on that as soon as it warms up a little bit. Uh, appreciate you checking out the video. Thanks again. Uh, if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you see all of our content as soon as it gets posted. And uh, you know, leave me a like, leave me a comment, what you think about what's going on here, any changes, anything in addition to my list you think I should do to this thing. I'm trying to be sort of financially responsible for the short term. It's going to be kind of an ease into it kind of a year. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff I want to get done. So if there's anything else you think I should be jumping on, leave me a note, let me a comment, and uh, appreciate you checking out the video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.